24-7 auto. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. What's cooking program hour two here on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Michael Horn and Paul Stern. I was at the Welk Resort in Escondido, California. A lot of uh, Lincoln Town cars I noticed uh, parked out there. Unfortunately, they're all about the uh, 1965 models, but uh, a lot of them in still very good shape, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, quite the, the nice place to visit out there. And they do, and, and I kid you about the seniors out there, they do rent the place out. You can do timeshares and things. Very nice. Paul, I think you're going to like this place. It's going to be good. Sounds great. Really does. Certainly does. I, and I also heard that, uh, that uh, you know, our production director, also host of this show at the first hour, Eric Hines, uh, I believe the he's been uh, cut some kind of a uh, music deal with the Angelo and Vinci's Orchestra because I believe uh, the Santa Clarita Wine Fest, which happens, I believe, this Saturday. Are you attending, by the way, Paul Stern? I'm going to be out there. I unfortunately will not be at attendance. I wish I could be, but unfortunately I, I think I'm a little bit under the weather and will not be able to make it. I believe I heard the same music bed that uh, is uh, the band that the Angelo and Vinci's uh, Supper Club uses at the, uh, the actual uh, the advertisement or announcement for... <laughs> The uh, wine fest over there, I believe. So maybe the boys are picking up a little extra work. I I think they were scheduled, by the way, Angelo and Vinci's there in Fullerton, California, closer to the uh, Welk Resort. And I believe there may be a big uh, Sunday brunch type of event over there with the Angelo and Vinci's boys. All three of them get together and uh, perform for a lot of the members there having brunch at the Welk Resort. And there is some good brunches you know, there, too. I, I, I hate to be critical here, but I'm going to... By the way, one final note. If you're going to make reservations for dinner, please get your reservations in early because the late seating at 6 o'clock fills up quickly. I hate to be critical, yes. of, especially of another industry professional. Uh -oh. But I, I'm looking through just a local restaurant section of a paper, and there is a restaurant called Fig Restaurant. Fig. This restaurant's located in Santa Monica, California. Now, there's the Girl and the Fig. That's up in uh, that's up Santa in, Rosa, yeah, or Healdsburg in, area. It's, no, I think it's in Sonoma, it's actually. It's up in the Sonoma area. Yeah. Well, this restaurant called the Fig, and they're obviously promoting a Valentine's Day menu in which they quote a local restaurant reviewer. Mm -hmm. And all this restaurant reviewer happens to ha have quoted – uh, the restaurant reviewer, her name is Irene Verbila, and uh, is just in quotes, delicious. That's all she says? That's all this restaurant. Well, is that her rating? Is, does she have a delicious scale? I do not know. Do you know, I saw Irene there, uh, and she does a lot of work for some of the newspapers around the country reviewing restaurants over there. And I believe one of the things she liked about the fig were the outfits for the waiters. Delicious. It's some kind of a... Some kind of a leaf outfit that no, I believe they I, use. I, I mean, so I, I, I'm she not... said it's just delicious. Well, yeah. is this, now, wait a second. Is this an ad where they say delicious? Sometimes they take things out of context. Is that what you're looking at? Oh, do you think that's, that's what they You held that oh. up there, and it looked like they just took a quote. Oh. So I'm sure there was more to it. Delicious. It probably said delicious, but overpriced, food consistency <laughs> not there, and actually not a very good value. And, 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 and they the, just cut out the word delicious. And, no, 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 I'm sure the restaurant. Well, I'm sure the restaurant's fine, and I hate to say that they, they might have. Uh, we'll go there and check it out. But the the the. I what guess if they're taking the, Valentine reservations? The, the I'm in trouble. The picture for this restaurant. Well, is this two pieces of? Did I ever tell you about making my reservation late for Valentine's Day one year? Maybe we had the fig. Has uh, it's showing like it looks like leaves there? Is that what that is, yeah, or is that it's, bok choy? It's tying that... into this, I guess it says on the they add this Valentine's Day we're opening our hearts to you, and then they show some rom hearts of romaine nice. lettuce. You think they that's... don't show the food? That's the problem. I'll tell you one nice thing you want to do at Valentine's Day: maybe make a few bucks for you and the 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 little woman that you're going out to Valentine's Day or whomever you're taking out. Maybe grab one of your old cell phones and head over to either a Radio Shack or the Radio Shack booth that they now have at Target stores. Turn in an old phone you're not using and get yourself uh, 50 bucks or so. And, uh, you know, head out to the front of the Target and buy a hot dog. I think they'll be taking reservations for the, um, the hot dog stands. And that, if you haven't made a reservation, that's one nice thing you can do if you have that loved one. Tell you're going to go on a gourmet hot dog evening for Valentine's Day. You can always do a barbecue in your backyard, too. That's something. We'll have more Valentine's Day fun for you on our weekend show uh, coming up uh, tomorrow here on the broadcast. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. For Eric Hines, for Paul Stern, for Eric Joseph, for Jack Roberts, I'm Michael Horn saying check out the web at crntalk.com and eat well, everybody.